All right, so a lot of people were asking for this. I wanted to put together a full uh, compilation gallery on all of the photos that we have that were taken inside either the North or the South Tower after one or both of the planes had hit. And we're just going to kind of go through these. Some of them are in relation to the event, but not verified. I'm going to try and give the backstory on, you know, what I can say when it comes to these photographs. So this one, you can see, this is inside the lobby of one of the Twin Towers looking out. You can see the plaza, the sphere, kind of a, I don't know if it's a famous photo, but I'm sure a lot of people have seen this one, kind of a, your standard one. You do have all the plants right there and, and you can see all of the debris. This is another one, pretty, you know, one that's been out there for a while. This is an interesting look because you can see the sphere and the little fountain like the little water down there. I always wondered what ended up happening to the water. I'm guessing it just evaporated probably in all of the smoke with everything falling on top of it, but it's something interesting to think about. Like, how long do you think water was actually down there with all of that crap spewing on top of it, like falling on it? It's just crazy to think about. I mean, the sphere survived when you think about it, but that's just, you can see all of the stuff, kind of the snow effect. I'm guessing that was probably after the snow effect. The snow effect is like when all the little paper, you know, flew out of the buildings and it looked like snow coming out. Uh, this is kind of a rarer one. So you can see the other building, this perspective, you know, it's looking out of the one tower at the other tower and you can see kind of where the smoke is. So this is a very unique perspective when you look at it. Because, you know, it's very clear and you can see from the one building into the other, well not into it, but right where, right where the impact was on the other side. This might have been during the 1993 incident. I, we're, we're not sure on this. I, I mean, it just looks like a smoky hallway, but this is one that's always added. It's not confirmed. This one is confirmed. This is the interior. This is actually a crazy photo. Th think about this. This is the lobby of the North Tower after the South Tower collapsed. One of the only photos you'll find inside, maybe the only photo we have, inside the North Tower after the South Tower collapsed. And it's kind of obvious why we know that. If you look at where the light, you know, where the windows would be, it looks like just yellowish glow. There's obviously a bunch of smoke in the air. Looks like there's been smoke that's been blown into the lobby, coating everything. All of the windows look like they've been blown out, or at least one of those windows looks like it's been completely blown out if you zoom in on it. And it just looks... I mean, you could say that looks like the sun, uh, but yeah, obviously we know that's just crazy smoke and the glare off of the sun with all of the smoke. That is a crazy photograph of the North Tower lobby after the South Tower fell right there. This is actually not from either of the towers. I believe this was uh, Six World Trade Center, I want to say, maybe Five World Trade Center, one of those. It, it is not from either of the towers, but it is commonly like lumped in there, and I just wanted to kind of talk about it. This is the World Financial Center, so obviously neither of the Twin Towers, but you can see just all of the crap that gets blown up on there. This uh, is a reenactment. So yeah, we, we really don't have a perspective photo like this in one of the buildings where you can see all of the windows like that. That is just a reenactment doc documentary. Uh, this is a stairwell. So there are a lot of these photos of people coming down these stairwells in the North Tower. Uh, you can just see some disoriented photos of that. All of these, I believe, are confirmed. And then this is down an escalator. A lot of people were able to escape through the mall. You go under and then up through the mall and, and exit through four or five World Trade Center. This is kind of an off angle shot that I actually didn't even know existed. Not that it's all that interesting because we've seen another perspective. I just showed it that that was very similar to this, but you can just see that. This is another one. Kind of looks like there's nothing on the ground. Looks like it's a normal day, but supposedly this was from the morning as well, leaving the building. This is an interesting one because you can see some massive... Uh, steel thing. I would assume that's from the building, something that fell off of the building and not a plane. It, it doesn't strike me as a plane part or anything like that. I'm guessing it's just something that fell from the building, maybe from the impact hole and it just fell down. I mean, that's a big piece that kind of a rare photo there. This is another one, just kind of a similar photo. You can see going out all of the crap on the ground. 
Uh, there, oh, those CCTV cameras. Yeah, we're still waiting on those. People really think, you know, those cameras are going to show possibly the collapse, maybe a new angle. The issue with CCTV, especially outdoors, normally with the glare, it's really, really low quality. I mean, it's already low quality. I mean, we saw it with the Pentagon. My goodness. Ho holy crap. Yeah. So I wouldn't expect much, but there's the idea that maybe we get more video or CCTV. They say, oh, we're doing investigations. We can't show it. You know, it takes time. Uh, this, this event, you know, it did happen over two decades ago, but still it's not like the Titanic. It's not like it happened a hundred years ago. Now there are some questions on somebody possibly taking some photos from right above the impact zone with a camera that may or may not have been recovered. I have heard rumors on that. I'm not sure if anything is going to come of that. A lot of this is all probably just lost, but who really knows at this point? I mean, I guess anything could come out. I would say the things that we would be looking for is an interior shot of the impact zone, you know, maybe from up above, maybe from an interesting perspective. The idea is after the collapse, maybe you could salvage something, a camera, whatever, and get a new perspective from maybe even above the impact zone, although so much of it was smoke anyways. Now, this one is a little bit of a different perspective higher up. You can see the comparison of the other photo I showed. I'm sure many people are going to think it's the same exact photo. It's, it's actually not. It's higher up, and, and it's more to the left position, to the left of the building. And you can also see just from all of the little you know papers in the air and what have you that it was taken at a different time, but that's just another perspective photo from inside. And then here's another perspective angle looking out of the one twin tower window onto the other, you know, you can see the massive impact area with all the smoke arising from the other building. This one, you know, you can't really confirm it, but it's been rumored. It's kind of hard to tell, honestly. This could be really any day, but I believe probably it was from the morning, personally. And then there's this one you can see. Looks like the window is getting some uh, little dust on top of it right there. That also is another one from the interior. But guys, those are kind of the interior photos we have. I'm sure there are a few more floating out there. You know, whether or not we'll get more, I'm sure at some point, as we get further and further away from it, more stuff will start coming out. It'll start trickling out. We'll start getting new perspectives. I don't know necessarily about new photos of the interior, because this was a completely different time. You know, you don't think to flip out your iPhone back in 2001, considering, you know, the cameras at that time were not very good. You know, any type of recording quality was going to be really bad. And obviously it was an extremely panicked situation. Nowadays, though, I'm sure we would have significant video coming out of this event. That's just kind of one of the differences with it happening in 2001. Either way, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on X. Link to that's always in the description.